welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Sparksville Island. It's your host uh, with not the most, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Sorry about my squeaky tear, y'all. Maybe I can cut that out. But anyway, look at the top, 23.59. We just got some money, you see that? Waiting on the figures to come in. I'm on, show up. Put the clock on five times. Whoa, I hit the wrong button. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. I hit the wrong eight. I hit F8. Plus hit uh, this eight. Speed up time. I guess it's not going to come through. Oh, there it is. 4,491 vehicle leasing costs. $68 vehicle running costs. $199 property maintenance. But $22,990 property income, folks. Wow. And look, we are up to $869 and 10, or $869,010. Yeah. Let's go and, uh, I just want to bring y'all back so y'all can see that. Because now we're on day four of mid autumn. Go in here. As you can see, we're waiting on our potatoes. You used to be able to click it. On certain maps, you can click it and highlight it. But uh, it'd be this and yeah, this one right here. As you can see, we can harvest potatoes like three days ago. But we can't. So hopefully today we can. And then our soybeans and corn starts today. It says sunflower. So. Beans and corn, same thing, which they'll probably be on this day here, on the seventh day, probably, knowing them. But look at uh, the rain. Today we got rain, six to nine. And then that, uh, oh, whatever time it is, let's see, 22 is 10. So nine o'clock, post tonight we get rain, and then Wednesday, and then Saturday's rain, and Sunday is snow. Can't have that. Or we still got crops in the ground. Okay, the pigs, as you can see, we're not 14 no more. We jumped to 21. 21 pigs, folks. We got 65 sheep. Pigs gonna need some food. Chicken needs some food for sure. Their health is good. Pigs' health, I mean, a sheep's health is 77%. Pigs are 85. And of course, our gold still, still got fuel. Our cows, I, I did feed them. They're up to 72% health. 0 0.7 years. 0 0.6 years. 0 0.5 years. 0 0.6 years. 0. Point. Oh, I messed up. All right, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we should be getting six babies here for four long, folks. Uh, slurry we got 7,692 and manure we got 1,082 I just emptied manure out yesterday alright let's go in here I want to get all this stuff out I'm going to go down turn grass on I got to do that every time I come in I got to turn grass on for some uh, oh oh okay Um, the line must be just coming through do y'all do see this right here at 14 See this line here, and this is red on 16, and this is green. Follow that line across. This is our field for potatoes, and where this line is here going up, you see how this is kind of square here? That's our potatoes. Our potatoes are ready in this area. Okay, so hopefully by morning. Oh, 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 we got jobs to do, folks hush phone we are having some severe weather so i might have to record this uh, uh, later on but for right now i just want to show you all that i'm going to clean the animals and stuff actually i'm going to go to bed and uh wake up about six o'clock and feed the animals and i'll be right back uh, i still have a little bit of time here but i i just got a buku load of contracts coming at once on the emails so I went ahead and finalized, or not finalized, but accepted. Uh, we got two transports. Uh, we got 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 17 fertilizing. So we're going to do that. And then 13, 15, and 16 are, well, I got to look here. Because one of these is, let's see, that is potatoes, potatoes, sugar beets. Oh, man, I can't do that. I was going to get this machine and harvest the other fields. But it's sugar beets. So I can either go this way or that way. This way or that way. I, I, I'm going to go ahead and borrow the items from field 13 from uh, Daniel Kohler or whatever his name is. I'm going to borrow those items. Yes. And then, uh, let's see, that's potatoes. This one's potatoes. I'm just going to accept this contract and we'll use equipment off of his field to harvest his field. So we're going to accept that. And the sugar beets, we're just going to have to borrow the equipment. Hey, for 1876 lease costs, and we're going to get 28000 yeah, we're going to borrow equipment. Yes, and I hope doing three contracts at one time harvesting is not going to mess us up. But, folks, it's 2 o'clock. I'm going to bed, and I will see y'all at 6 o'clock. We're going to uh, get started. So, be right back. Well, folks, I was fertilizing field 8. And luckily, I got done, but look at the mess I'm driving in. It's getting too slick. Uh, I do have some of the guys getting the equipment transferred up here, so they might be up here by now. I don't know. What a mess. All right. Got the sugar beet machine down here. Got it moved to 16. As you can see, it's just flat out pouring down raining. Right, maybe just be out of the way. Lower the head down so we can get everything greased. Well, I think he said everything was greased. Everything was supposed to be ready to go. All right. Um. Christy, I'll take over now. Thank you very much. Was using Follow Me, which is an awesome mod. Very, very, very awesome. Oh, yeah, it's getting too wet, folks. Look, look at the mud on the tires. Oh, don't be on a harder surface. There we go. Whew. Man, I just hate rain. All right, and this is the potato stuff. Uh, I'm going to keep that tarp closed so we don't get no rain in there. Rain's good. I should put him on follow me to bring. It's right here, so it's not too big of a deal. At least everything's here for when it stops raining. I always go on the wrong side. Oh, they already left. Could have turned around and followed me. Jeez. Yeah, that's the our stuff there and our tractor. Uh, that's next couple of fields we gotta fertilize, but we gotta wait till everything stops. Let's see, I need to do the inroads on this first, get away from these trees. Which I can't harvest today. I'm just gonna have to back up and get it position to be ready but yeah it said six o'clock and here it is six fifteen all right let's see everything should be up here got this and that for the potatoes and I uh, got them way over there lined up for the sugar beets so I'll bring you back when it stops raining or when something happens oh wait before we go I think one or two of these uh, transport company and field eight is done so let's go ahead and get them out of the way and see if we get any more real quick oh another transport oh that's a good one for transport is laboratory to transport company okay we're taking that we can still do transports and folks, we are up to $884,102. What I'm trying to do... Hang on, let me find a tractor real quick. Alright, now we can talk. 
Uh, I'm trying to get up to that 1.6 million dollars as quick as we can because we got I want to buy the outskirts of town if that makes any sense the the land that you can't really farm so maybe mowing I want to farm that land or not farm it but get that land here let me show you what I'm talking about real fast all right we'll go over here we can see our stuff our potatoes are ready but our soybeans and corn is not ready but right here let me zoom in here but right here is our is the horse pasture mm, go to our lands we home the horse pasture this spot over here but this piece here and all around we don't own all that that's in blue we don't own folks so the outlines of all the mountain or mountains <laughs> outlines of all the islands and then these little roads right here um, I don't know how far out we can go with not owning these let's see you know let's get, get this up it's 1.661464 so 1 million 1.7 million basically and we're at 8.8 eight. So kind of right about halfway. And what I'm saying is, you know, we don't own them. And we're building this road right here. And that's the next thing I want to show you. But I got to get this truck going first. And this truck is going... Uh, oh, the bakery. Break it to Portside, ca uh, Portside Calf. I should have known that. Many times I've been doing them. I should have known that. Um... Go ahead and get the truck rolling while I'm scrolling. Port side calf. Because right down here, I got the trailer in the way of the path. And it does not like it. It stops and waits there. Whoa, slow down, Mr. Blue. It's raining. Gotta be careful. Alright, there we go. Alright, I want to show y'all this. They they uh come out and worked a little bit yesterday evening. They got like a little thing here for the excavator to set on. Uh, they loaded a couple loads in this bad boy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I like this equipment. But actually, I say they. It was this two. Uh, one was doing this. Put dirt in that. When he got this guy loaded and he took off. The uh, He got on the bulldozer down there. He just parked it the loader out of the way but he bulldozed some of this dirt up and uh, cut some of that out loaded some out now I'll show you over here all right as you can see well y'all probably can't tell but oh and where do I go they uh leveled it up a little bit more about maybe three to four foot I say they probably need to come up. I don't think they need to come up to about right here. Just enough to leave these lights on. That way you can still see down through here at nighttime where the middle of this thing is. I think that's what they're going to do. Or I'm going to tell them. Well, it's going to be us doing that. But a couple guys comes out and they'll load some when they can. But from here out is what loads they done they smooth it out smooth that out i guess they done that with the wheel loader had to but yeah that's pretty neat but folks we gotta get we gotta zoom up time uh let's go in here one more time ah, i rhymed as you can see it's gonna be about 10 o'clock when the rain leaves so i'll bring you back then okay all right, folks, I'm back. Oh, man, the tractor's still in the way. Uh, I've been using, I took that bucket that we had back, and I bought this bucket. It's got a grabber on it, and it's a little bit bigger. And uh, I've been putting TMR in our silo in, the, in that shed there. And let me, uh, while this thing's warming up a little bit more, let me show you over here. Um... We're down to 1,838 on the TMR. Solage is out. Straw is low. And hay is low. 
And I've been feeding it to keep it going a little bit, but just overnight and stuff. Um, yeah, I've been putting all the TMR in there. When I need a low silage, I just come here and do it. And I take the hay bales, put the hay bales in there. And uh, I did load uh, some of the manure into the uh, the greenhouses. And I just want to show you here. Instead of going BGA, we can go here and get to Digestate. It's the same numbers I tried. I went down there and I come back up here, tried this to make sure it worked. And we got 16, uh, 168,320 liters. I'm going to go ahead and start having that field. And uh, our tractor should be warmed up by now. But John called me and said, bring it to the shop up there. He's got something else for me. So, here we go. Folks, I'll pull up here. And John calls me as I'm pulling up. I'm like, yeah. He's like, just go ahead and hook to it and see if you can take it back. I think you can get around the mountain. Then he said, he'll be coming around the mountain and hung up the phone. John's something else, folks. We hooked to it. Shut this thing off for a second. Lizard, Lizard SM82. I don't think I can get this around the mountain. John, you watching this? I can't get this around the mountain. It's huge! It's more huge than a tractor is. Oh. You know, I'm starting to think John likes likes to see me stressing. Oh my goodness. Ain't no way I can get this through. No. I might go get the low boy, the, the, the beast and the low boy and come up here and set this on it. There's not no way, John. What do y'all think, folks? You think I can get it? Probably gonna hang up right here. I think I just ripped half the clouds off. Wait, what, what's that back there? <gasps> oh, that's for the sugar beet harvester for the header. <laughs> Will it work? I don't know. I don't know if it'll work. Um, I don't think it's going to work. Oh. All right, we're going to probably prop and jack this up more, but we're going to try it, folks. We are going to try it. Be back in a second. Got it on there. It's not the best thing in the world. I think I'm going to take it about nine mile an hour or so so uh, our symbol up there is still showing it's wet so we can't get in the fields right now because we're just sink down in mud so I'm gonna get this to field one this is what we're gonna be using now it's supposed to be a plow a special kind of plows I don't I really don't know what it's gonna do probably the same old same old don't know but we're gonna try it out it, it's basically free we did have to pay like four thousand for a lease cost on it but hey we, we we can try out folks we can try out wheels are barely off the ground but we're going to try out and hey, that would might make a good thumbnail there be right back folks all right we're dropping off the load here from observatory to transport company that is finished Always back out of the way, folks, when you get a job done like that. Let's go in here. We're going. We got bakery and observatory. We're going to finalize them, and uh, we still got the wet symbol up there. But we got the other guy going over there. Let's get this guy going. Um, I think I'm going to do AI, and I'm going to switch him over to the right side. Go in a circle, and uh, first we gotta unfold it. Oh, not fold that. Shut the engine off too. Mr. Blue, what are you doing? 
Gotta get this pipe out of this thing and get this auger out in the center. So this thing will work right. Alright, now I'll turn it on. Folks, we probably won't get too much into harvesting the, the contracts. I'm going to kind of do that off screen on some of them. Whoa. AI worker getting kind of bouncy. Can't tell, but that kind of looks like Christy in there. It's sun's beaming down this road, but we can't see inside, but I think that's Christy. Um... There's another one going across the hill. Uh, yeah, here we go. Hepper E. All right. Uh, yeah, here's the other truck. I think I showed you all that. But we are trying to... Here we go. Got to get this thing off the trailer. Just in case that guy wants his trailer. For that sugar beet harvester. All right. Okay. Perfect. Maybe that's what we need. Actually, we'll probably use our low boy. Man, this thing unfolds fast. Wheels swinging out to the front. There we go. Oh, wow. Whoa. What was that? Oh. Man, you barely turn it, it slings this thing and shakes it every which away. I can't walk, wiggle my boob, my butt. I can't wiggle my booty. Alright, um, same as the slurry tanker. Ooh, it's a little jittery. Where are my friends for a second? 38, 40? I usually get a 60. Okay. Get back to where I was. Here, I, as you can see, this tractor looks like it's stuck. It might pull out. I want to get the GPS up. A line made. Let's see. Yeah, there's my A on the back of my tractor right there. You can see it. I'm going to back up. Should be enough. Hit Alt E again. Then Alt R. And probably need to bring that over this way y'all should see the lines moving now about right there I'm gonna lock on what is it that oh nope come on now get lined up there oh there we go nope. now we're lining up kind of sorta this might not work all right, let's lower this down. All right, we got it lowered down. At least, yeah, okay. Well, 10 mile an hour pulling this thing. It's doing pretty good, folks. Kind of like it. it. It is wide. Oh, oh, I probably should have brought it over some. Is that right? Let's go. Oh, I don't like it moving like that in the dirt. All right. Man, my frame rate's dropping bad. 32, 31. Hmm. It hasn't done that in a while. I don't know if it's this or not, but we're just keeping this for a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh. Trying to lock on GPS while I was there. All right, I'm going to go around the edges. Actually, y'all seen enough of this right now. But uh, shut this off. Folks, we, we want to see this, right? See if this thing will pop out of this mud hole. There we go. What's her frames? 43? Maybe be a little bit better. Alright, we're going to unfold this bad boy. So we're going on. There we go. Then get our other tractor over here. We'll probably make a round with this just to see what it does. Let's see if we can even. Not really harvesting with this. Let's see if we can turn it on. Yep. I might need to leave that on. 
think that's everything right there. I do want to do a GPS though. So I guess it help if I turn it on. There we go. There's my A. Alright, it's doing yep, yep, it's spitting something outside there. Oh, it's gathering them. Oh, no, it's running over them. Um, hang on, we doing something wrong. Uh, did I? There we go. Hit the R. Okay, that's set up. Try and get the, there we go. Um, uh, codes cover. No. I'll unload here maybe there we go unload them on the ground I'll just get an offset I don't want to offset let's go in here auto with and we'll do that oh okay let's do that you know what well, it's harvesting some, why ain't it harvesting all? Right, I'm just running over them, which I'm sure what I'm doing. I, let me see if I can go over this way. Hmm. I think it's this ridge right here, I'm hoping. I really don't know, folks. I guess the only thing I know to really do is to, since I got a GPS line, let's go out in the middle. My tire's destroying those right there. This is wasting. Let's see, I want to Turn it off. I guess, well, I'm driving all in the fence. Sorry, folks, I was trying to be real. I forgot where I was going. I can run the tractor out there. I just can't run the harvester out there. All right, lock on, lower down, turn on. We taking a full oh yeah, see we're taking a full thing now. Okay. That's working a lot better. Let's dump them over here, oh, so our next through will be getting up. That stopped again. Is ten too fast? Let me uh, set that and turn that down. See how two does. No, I'm still missing on two. Alright, anybody got any ideas? Because I'm out of them. I'm going to get up here to the front. As just done that one side. And the back tire is destroying that one row there, as you can see. Okay, this is a no-go on this one. All right, uh, yeah, yeah, we're going, we're going to call this a no-go. Let me get the other one hooked up, and I'll be right back. You know what I'm doing? I'm forgetting to mow. I'm posting my own, folks. What, what? Oh, see, we don't know what you're doing. People make mistakes. Let's see. I'm gonna drop my weight, or by not drop it in the road. Drop it over here by the shed here. I'm gonna hook the mower up. I'm gonna see if we can put it on the front and use it that way. Alright, this thing gonna be as wide. Oh, R. It didn't change nothing, so. 
Alright, lower down, turn on. See what it's doing. I can't tell what it's doing. Scout, look at this. I'm quit flying. I don't think it's working. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I don't understand. PTO shaft going to that side, but no PTO shaft going to this side. Hmm. Alright, we're locked on. We're going to try it, folks. Um, go to back here. Turn that on. Lower it down. Alright, now we're putting potatoes out, but the thing is wider, way wider than the mower, kind of, sort of, about one row wider. Oh man, we're 35 minutes in. Well, we're getting potatoes that way. Let me get to the end. I'm going to try something else. Okay, that's what it's supposed to look like right there. You see the, the stubble? Well, it didn't leave no stubble over here when I was mowing. It was chopping it all to the ground. So, uh, yeah. I'll show you the difference. See? No stubble, stubble. And then when I was mowing it going forward, it, it was mowing, but it wasn't leaving the stubble. So, uh, yeah, got to do this first. I wish I asked somebody first. I should have known better. We still got one more piece of equipment. Uh, I left this up here. I told John it'd be on the hill. Send somebody after this thing. Which it might work good after we mow. I don't know, folks. This thing's a little slow about lifting, too. Let me go ahead and do across the end here. So I have a little bit more room. See, even this way is leaving the stubble. Hmm. I'm going to go back over this, too. See, I'm actually going to reset my line right there all right folks let me get well it's 37 minutes I hate to do this to you but I, can, I can't have too much longer so yeah let me get some of this mode and I'll be right back all right I ain't done folks but I, I kind of moved up here finish this and work my way down as you can see all the stalks are there but I notice you run it forward on front of the tractor see this wheel right here these wheels will do crop destruction I'm gonna I'm on track one more time with it hooked to the back y'all watch this okay I'm gonna lower it down lock on GPS here get going pretty good here past these weeds now what you're gonna make me out a liar all right we're gonna get out yep you can see it right there see way down there past the uh, the weeds there or right next to the weeds down this row right here you don't see no stalks and watch as I go over no stalks all right, and then there's this in here, no stalks. Then you got one, two, three, four. Well, all these got stalks, but two right here rows don't. And over here, you got some that don't have. Yeah, that's what's doing it. That is what's doing it, is the front tires of the mower. You turn it around, you won't have a problem at all. 
I go from these weeds right here up to these dead ones here. And matter of fact, I'm, I'm a little bit off, but as you can see, if I can get in the center, these wheels go right down the row here. And if you look back here, we'll look both ways. You can see all the stalks and all the places. It's the tires. When the tires run up on the, the bank area, it takes the stalks away. So what do you know? But anyway, folks, this is a 40-minute video already. Both our machines have done quit. And you can see what we got left down there. I got a couple of spatches here and there that I haven't mowed. But I just uh, hop up here to mow these, get them some room. And uh, once I get everything mowed, you can come back in the next episode. Ooh, thought I was going to lose them. Get away from the fence there. But in the next episode, we will be finishing... Actually, we'll be pretty much starting the potato harvest because we got some. Uh, why is that so far over? Let me adjust this real quick. There we go. But anyway, this is just the start of the potato harvest. That's what next video is going to be about, too. Uh, we got two potato fields that's not ours that we got to harvest. Oh, man. Roll of shame. I should have left it like it was, and I would have got that. I got to get off here anyway because the storms are getting kind of bad, and I don't want my computer struck by lightning. Wind's picking up, so right now they're on the other side of the state, but right in the middle of the state, there's a few popping up. So if I remember, I'll I'll think to take a snapshot with my phone with the I'm not even on GPS no wonder it's not even working I thought I activated it oh man and one other thing you can probably see I'm gonna go across the end here a little spot right here that didn't get cut and it said I didn't own the field that's another reason why I want to buy the uh, rest of it I got a drop off there. Woo, that was close. But anyway, folks, I appreciate y'all watching. Say so don't own, have access to this land. But I do out here, buddy. But I appreciate each and every one of y'all taking your time out of your day, night, or whatever it is, and watching me. I really appreciate it, folks. It means a lot. And, and hey, even if you don't watch me and you just let my video run, I'd love that, too. Hey, that's how you can support somebody. Turn their playlist on. Let it run. Give them some watch time hours. Watch time hours. Give them some watch time minutes. I guess it would be hours too if you let it run. But anyway, folks, I really, really, really appreciate all you do for me. And thank you so much. But I got to get off here. Lock on my GPS. Maybe there won't be no mistakes this time. But, uh, yeah, I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all hit that like button. Share me with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Oh, I can't, folks. I, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. There we go. And, uh, yeah. I will see y'all in the next video, folks. So y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next video. I know it's a game.